Hello students, welcome back to our class. In the previous class, we discussed about Pythagoras theorem and uh, very important application of Pythagoras theorem. And now we are going to discuss about three very important applications of Pythagoras theorem that is one is acute angle triangle and second one is obtuse angle triangle theorem. What are those acute angle triangle and obtuse angle triangle theorems? And the ones that we are going to discuss also very important applications in trigonometrical concepts. There is a concept called properties of triangles in trigonometry in plus 1 plus 2 as well as in intermediate also. There we derived sin rule, cosine rule and tangent rules also. In order to prove those rules, definitely you need to remember the theorems that we are going to discuss about, right? Okay. So, the very first theorem is in triangle ABC, in triangle ABC, angle B is less than 90 degrees. What do you mean by angle B less than 90 degrees? Angle B is an acute angle, so that it is an acute angle triangle. And uh, AD is drawn perpendicular to BC, then prove that, then prove that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square minus 2 BC into BD. This is what you are going to prove. In triangle ABC, angle B less than 90 degrees and AD is perpendicular to BC then prove that AC square equal to AB square plus BC square minus 2 BC into BD. How are you going to prove this? Let us draw a triangle ABC in which angle B is equal to less than 90 degrees means it is an acute angled triangle A, B, C in which angle B is acute angle and then AD is drawn perpendicular to BC. Of course, this is AD which is drawn perpendicular to BC. Okay? Then what are you going to prove here? AC square equal to AB square plus BC square minus 2 BC into BD. Let us see uh, how to prove this. In order to prove this statement, there are two right angle triangles. One is ABD and one is ACD and both of them are right angle triangles so that you can apply Pythagoras theorem for both the two triangles. Uh, I am considering triangle ADC. From triangle ADC, we can say that AC square is equal to hypotenuse square equal to side square plus side square that is AD square plus DC square also. And coming to this triangle, what is this triangle? Triangle ABD. From this triangle ABD, hypotenuse is AB, again we can apply Pythagoras theorem that is AB square is equal to AD square plus BD square, correct? But see, in our result, we do not want AD, there is no AD. That is why to remove that AD or to eliminate AD, we will have to subtract one equation from the other equation. So, this is minus, minus, minus. This is AC square minus AB square. AC square minus AB square is equal to AD square, AD square gets cancelled. Then we have DC square minus BD square, right? AC square minus AB square equal to DC square minus BD square. All the time you will have to keep an eye on what is that you are going to prove. The result itself has AB terms, BC terms and BD terms, but DC term is not there. So, instead of DC, can we write something like DC is a part of BC along with BD. So, that is why BD plus DC is equal to BC. From that DC is going to be the entire part minus BD. Can we say that? Okay, I am going to substitute that and beforehand AC square transposing minus AB square that side which is going to be plus AB square and plus DC square this is instead of DC I am going to write BC minus BD. So, DC is BC minus BD square is whole square minus BD square is BD square. Hope you understand. Let us try to simplify this. AB square plus BC minus BD whole square is in the form of A minus B whole square that is A square plus B square minus 2 AB 2 into BC into BD minus BD square is also there minus BD square. Can we cancel anything here? Yes, plus BD square minus BD square gets cancelled. So, finally, you get AB square plus BC square minus 2 BC into BD 
is equal to a c square. This is what you want to prove, right? So, therefore, a c square is equal to a b square plus b c square minus 2 b c into b d. This is what about when angle b less than 90 degrees, right? Now, the statement is going to be when angle b is more than 90 degrees. Hope you understand. Angle b is more than 90 degrees in triangle a b c in triangle a b c angle b is more than 90 degrees and a d is perpendicular to b c when a d perpendicular to b c then prove that then prove that a c square is equal to a b square plus b c square plus 2 b c into b d this is what you are going to prove but you need to understand one thing here that angle b is more than 90 degrees and a d is done perpendicular to b c right angle b more than 90 degrees means obviously angle b is an obtuse angle so let us consider the triangle a b c such that angle b is more than 90 degrees then a d is perpendicular to b c how can you draw AD perpendicular to BC? Already we discussed in proving basic proportionality theorem. You will have to produce the side CB and then you drop a perpendicular from here. So, this is AD perpendicular to BC. Understand according to the problem. Now, see how many number of right angle triangles are there in this figure. There are two right angle triangles. One is ADB and one is ADC also, right? First, let me take triangle ADC. So, consider triangle ADC in this triangle ADC, hypotenuse is AC. So, that AC square is equal to AD square plus DC square and second right angle triangle is ADB right angle triangle. So, from triangle ADB, we can say that from ADB, a b square is equal to a d square plus b d square. Again, we do not want a d square subtract one equation from the other equation. Then this is a c square minus a b square is going to be these two gets cancelled. Then you have d c square minus b d square. Again, we do not want d c anywhere. So, that how can you write this DC? DC is the combination of DB and BC. So, that I am going to write the DC as DB plus BC. For that, AC square and transposing AB square that side, it would be plus AB square plus DC. DC is equal to DB plus BC whole square minus BD square is BD square. Now, you expand this by using A plus B whole square. What will you get? A B square plus D B plus B C whole square means D B square plus B C square plus 2 D B into B C minus B D square is B D square. So, here the cancellation is B D square and B D square gets cancelled. Finally, you get A C square is equal to A B square plus B C square plus 2 B C into B D. This is what is the proof of this particular statement, right? So, we proved for when angle B is equal to less than 90 degrees and we proved for when angle B is more than 90 degrees also, right? So, when you combine these two statements, when you combine these two statements, then there will be another theorem which is derived that another theorem is called as Apollonius theorem. What do you call that? Apollonius theorem. That is what I am going to introduce you now. What is that Apollonius theorem is all about? See, for example, this is a triangle. In this triangle A, B, C, this is the median, right? So, median is nothing but divides the base into two equal parts. If it is not looking like median, let us draw one more, okay? So, this is a triangle in this triangle A, B, C. Suppose this is the point, okay, and this is the median that median is A, D, 
dividing of course, B C into two equal parts. See when it is the median, then this angle may be acute angle or obtuse angle. Suppose, if this is acute angle, then it should be obtuse angle. If this is a obtuse angle, this should be acute angle. Then if you apply both the theorems, whatever the theorems that we discussed just now, the very first theorem is A c square equal to A b square plus B c square plus 2 B c into B d and the second one is minus 2 B c into B d. Right? Suppose, if A m is the perpendicular drawn, then by this perpendicular we can prove that A c square plus A b square or A b square plus A c square is equal to 2 into A d square plus half b c square. So, A b square plus A c square is equal to 2 into A d square plus half b c square. This is what you call as Apollonius theorem. What do you call that? Apollonius theorem. Apollonius theorem. So, Apollonius theorem is all about what is the statement of Apollonius theorem? Sum of squares of two sides of a triangle. I am going to write that statement of the theorem. Sum of squares of two sides of a triangle. Sum of squares of two sides of a triangle is equal to is equal to the square on median the square on median plus square on half of the third side square on half of the third side this is what you call as apollonius theorem this is what the application of the first one acute angle triangle, obtuse angle triangle, when you add both of them, you will get this Apollonius theorem. So, please do remember the statement of Apollonius theorem that is sum of squares of two sides of a triangle is equal to the square of median plus square on half of the third side. And moving on to the very important and useful informations, two of the uh, informations are, for example, there is a triangle. What kind of triangle this is? This is an equilateral triangle. Suppose A, B, C is an equilateral triangle and there is a point on B, C, let this point be D such that B, D is equal to one third B, C means B, D is one third part of this B, C. Then you will have to prove that 9 A, D square is equal to 7 A, B square. So, what are you going to prove here? When you join this A and D, then it would be A, D then in this equilateral triangle, I am going to write this statement. What is the statement? In an equilateral triangle, in an equilateral triangle A, B, C, B, D is equal to one third B, C, B, D is equal to one third B, C, then you will have to prove that, then prove that 9 a d square is equal to 7 a b square. So, how are you going to prove this? It is very easy to prove that 9 a d square is equal to 7 a b square in this equilateral triangle. I am going to consider each side of equilateral triangle is equal to some x. If this is x, this is x, this is also x. But what are you given here? B D is equal to one third B C. B C is equal to X. So, B D is equal to one third of X is X divided by 3. Okay? This is X divided by 3 and since there is no right angle, that is why I am going to drop one perpendicular from A on to the side B C. So, let it be the perpendicular, let it be some M. See, according to the properties of equal triangle, the perpendicular drawn on any one of the sides from its opposite vertex will be the perpendicular bisector of the side exclusively in an equilateral triangle. So, that this A m divides the base into two equal parts. This entire B c is equal to x. So, that what about this B m is nothing but half of x. So, this is half of x of course, this is also half of x. See B d is equal to x by 3 b m is equal to x by 2. What about this d m? d m is going to be x by 2 minus x by 3. x by 2 minus x by 3 is going to be x by 6. right? And 
what is this am am is altitude of an equilateral triangle so altitude of an equilateral triangle is equal to root 3 by 2 times to its side otherwise you can apply pythagoras theorem for triangle amb hypotenuse square equal to side square plus side square then you will get the value of am as root 3 by 2 times to its side that is x now i am going to take the triangle adm okay so from triangle adm hypotenuse square equal to side square plus side square what is the hypotenuse here ad is the hypotenuse so that ad square is equal to am square plus dm square okay what is am here am is equal to root 3 by 2x so root 3 by 2x whole square plus dm is going to be x by 6 whole square so root 3 by 2x whole square equal to 3x square by 4 plus x by 6 whole square is equal to x square by 6 6 are 36 so when you find the lcm 36 is going to the lcm 4 how much are 36 4 9s are 36 9 3s are 27x square plus 36 1s are 36 1 x squares are x square so totally 27 x square plus x square is equal to 28 x square divided by 36 can you cancel 28 and 36 yes 4 7s are 28 4 9s are 36 which is equal to ad square therefore ad square is equal to 7 x square divided by 9 by cross multiplication you can say that 9 ad square is equal to 7 x square it means 9 ad square is equal to 7 what is the dex there x is equal to ab or bc or ac therefore 9 ad square is equal to 7 ab square or 7 bc square or 7 ac square this is what the way of proving this statement so this is one of the very important and interesting result for equilateral triangle also right let us moving on to the one more uh, very important problem according to our board examination point of view that is in rhombus in rhombus a b c d prove that a c square plus b d square is equal to a b square plus b c square plus c d square plus d a square so this is applicable in rhombus what do you mean by that ac and bd in triangle in rhombus a b c d obviously ac and bd are said to be the diagonals and a b b c c d d a are respective sides so let me draw one rhombus here so this is one of the rhombus right so in this rhombus a b c d let us draw triangles bd uh, diagonals bd and ac both meet at one point let it be o according to the properties of rhombus diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly diagonals each other by, uh, bisect each other means this part is equal to this part and uh, this part is equal to this part right i would write that property of triangle property of this um, rhombus that is ao is equal to oc which is equal to half ac and uh, bo is equal to od which is equal to half bd and what about the angle between the diagonals angle a o b is always equal to 90 degrees according to the properties of rhombus now i would take one of the triangles out of all those four right angle triangles what is that any one of the right angle triangle so consider triangle a o b okay in triangle a o b anyway angle a o b is equal to 90 degrees i can apply pythagoras theorem so when i apply pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square a b square is equal to a o square plus b o square can i write okay but what is this a o a o is equal to half a c i am going to write a o as half a c whole square and b o is going to be where is that b o bo is equal to half bd so that it would be half bd whole square so half ac whole square is going to be 1 by 4 ac square and half bd whole square is going to be 1 by 4 
b d square. When you take 1 by 4 common from both of them, then it is going to be a c square plus b d square is equal to a b square. So, by cross multiplication 4 into a b square is 4 a b square which is equal to a c square plus b d square, but what is this 4 a b square? 4 a b square means you can use that a b square 4 times a b square plus a b square plus a b square plus a b square. 1 a b square is a b square, another a b square is b c square, another a b square is c d square, another a b square is d a square because all the 4 sides are equal in rhombus. Therefore, in any rhombus sum of squares of diagonals is equal to sum of squares of corresponding sides also. So, please do remember this statement. So, we can prove this statement easily and coming to that final uh, statement and final application of this Pythagoras theorem as well as Apollonius theorem is what is that? See this is true for only rhombus or anything else, it is true for even parallelogram also. So, that is what we are going to prove now. What is that? In parallelogram A B C D, in parallelogram A B C D, prove that A C square plus B D square is equal to A B square plus B C square plus C D square plus D A square. How, so, how are you going to prove this? Let me draw one parallelogram. So, this is one parallelogram in which the diagonals parallelogram ABCD, this is one diagonal and this is one more diagonal, right. So, both the diagonals intersect at a point O. See, both the diagonals intersect at a point O means both the diagonals bisect each other according to the properties of parallelogram. And in parallelogram opposite sides are equal also, AB is equal to DC and AD is equal to BC. See here, uh, if I apply Apollonius theorem for triangle AD, ADB or ABC, anything is okay. Okay, let us take ABC triangle. In this triangle ABC, since O is the midpoint of diagonal AC, can we consider BO as the median of this triangle? Since it is median of the triangle, by Apollonius theorem, sum of squares of two sides is equal to square on median plus square on half of the third side. That was what? Our Apollonius theorem. So, I am applying Apollonius theorem for triangle ABC. So, for triangle ABC by applying Apollonius theorem, AB square plus BC square, AB square plus BC square is equal to twice the square on median. What is the median here? Median is OB square plus square on half of the third side. What is third side here? Third side is going to be AC. So, half AC square, okay. That is for ABC triangle. And now, what am I going to do here? I am going to prove this directly. That is AB square plus BC square is equal to 2 into OB. Uh, can I write this OB as half of BD, right? So, half BD whole square plus half AC square is half AC square. If you write this as 2 into 1 by 2 BD square is 1 by 4 BD square plus half AC square, right? 2 ones, 2 twos are cancelled. This is half BD square plus half AC square. I can take one half common BD square plus AC square which is equal to a b square plus b c square. So, by cross multiplication you can say that 2 into a b square is 2 a b square plus 2 into b c square is 2 b c square which is equal to b d square plus a c square, right. 2 a b square means a b square plus a b square. So, a b square plus one more a b is what? It is opposite side because opposite sides are equal. Instead of a b you can write c d. So, a b square plus c d square plus b c square plus one more b c square. What is one more b c square? That is a d square is equal to a c square plus b d square. So, this is also true, this statement is true even in parallelogram also. So, hope you understand, this is all about our triangles chapter. Hope you understand and enjoyed. Thank you.